Hello and welcome to another command block video tutorial. In this video, we are going to be doing a part two to a video I made a few weeks ago on mob abilities. So that way you can make all the enemies in your game way more dangerous. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. Now today we're going to be having five new mobs that we're all going to give you unique abilities to. Right now they're all frozen in place, and I'll show you why that is in a second with that command. But today we have the Vindicator, we have the Blades, the Witch, the Evoker, and the Ravager as the five mobs that we are going to be giving special abilities to. Alright, so to start off we have the Vindicator. So what the Vindicator is going to do, I'm going to actually get these spawnings real quick because they're probably going to get lost. So what the Vindicator is going to do is... Once I flip this on, every once in a while he's going to place a trap. I'm going to just get up him real quick so you guys can see the trap better. So there's just a little particle on the ground, and basically if I walk over towards the trap, it's like a bear trap, and it does damage. It's pretty simple, and I'll just have another Vindicator so you guys can see it again. It is on a cooldown as well, so that way there's not going to be an infinite number of traps, and if he's already near a trap, it's not going to summon another one. But yeah, this way it makes him a lot more dangerous to deal with. Alright, so it's only five commands, it's actually not too difficult, but starting out we basically go at a random Vindicator, unless there is an armor stand named Poop, uh, summon an armor stand named Poop. Uh, the reason it's named Poop is I did these commands during the live stream, and chat maybe name it Poop. If you ever... I, yeah. I don't even know. Next we're gonna do... If there is something named poop, just give it invisibility. This is on a chain command right off of this one. I should mention that the summon command is on a 200 tick delay. So it's every 10 seconds, it will try to summon a bear trap at a random vindicator. However, if it's already near a bear trap, it won't summon an extra one. After that, we basically have the particle commands executing anything named poop, summon a gas balloon particle. You can see this one is zero tick delay. Then we basically have, if the entity named Poop, if there's a player nearby, it's going to summon an evocation fang. And then finally, once again, at the armor stand named Poop, if there's an entity nearby, uh, it's just going to kill itself. That way it means it was consumed, essentially. All right, I'm going to skip the blaze for now, and we're going to come back to it at the end. So what the witch can do is summon cats. Just really mean cats, and I will this one as an example and you can see this mean cat is going to try to follow me across the ground uh, he can kind of fly a little bit but he's going to mostly follow me on the ground and yeah he's going to try to get to me i think where'd he go he's right here but if i am in survival mode the cat actually attacks me it's kind of dangerous Oh, uh, what are they? Guys, I'll leave you for one minute. You're killing each other. Come on. Very rude. Well, you get the idea. I don't... What was that about? Yeah, you see, you get the idea. It's a mean cat. So this is only four commands, nice and easy. So what we're doing is basically checking. It's very similar to the last command that we did for the uh, bear trap. We're basically saying if there is a witch, unless there's already a cat nearby, summon a mean cat. Then we're going to take the mean cat and basically have it be teleporting facing the nearest player. This one's just going to be going straight for the player. This one's going to be almost the same thing, except it's going to go a little bit forward, mostly down. That way it's going to look a little bit more like it's running across the ground, essentially. And then finally, this is the damage command. So this command is on a 20 tick delay. So it's going to attack every second. And it's going to do two damage to the nearest player that is beside a mean cat. And of course, if you want to do more or less damage, simply change this number. But that is more or less how the mean cat attack works. It's only four commands, not too difficult. Additionally, this command is on a 500 tick delay. Once again, if you want to make it less often, make it a higher number. If you want to make it more often, make it a lower number. 
All right, that's all for the witch. Goodbye. Next up, we have the evoker. So the evoker, what he's going to do is actually every once in a while, he's going to basically summon in a black hole. So it's going to happen as soon as I turn this on. He sucks you in immediately. And that's just going to throw you off and basically entirely disorient you. And then he basically has this as a cooldown. This one is also on 500 ticks. Once again, you can kind of adjust that, make it what you need. So this command works very similar, once again, to the uh, Vindicator's ability. Basically what we're doing is... Oh, wrong command. We're going to be summoning the armor stand, but this time we're naming it Black Hole. And we're going to summon it a little bit above where the actual Vindicator, or where the Illager is. Then we're going to give it invisibility. Then this command on zero tick delay. We're having some particles. I have this name wrong, you don't need to do this command. Uh, but then we have this command, which is basically going to have the black hole kill itself if there's a player right beside it. And other than that, it's going to execute at the black hole. It's basically going to take any player that is within seven blocks and suck it in using the teleport command. Goodbye. Next up, we have the Ravager command. So this one's actually pretty simple as well. So many of you guys may not know this, but the Ravager has a built-in ability to do a roar, massive knockback attack. Uh, if I remember correctly, it only happens in vanilla after you block his attack with a shield. He has like a chance to do it. it doesn't actually come up that much. So with this command, we're simply making that happen way more often. So I'll turn this on real quick and you will see if I get near him. Wait a couple of seconds. And he does a roar, and that will do a little bit of damage and does a lot of knockback. Stand up here so it's a little more knockback to me. Just wait a second. Do it. Do it. No, we just didn't want to. Okay. There we go. So basically all we're doing here is executing at a random Ravager. If there is a player within three blocks, it's going to start the event Minecraft Roar. And we're doing this every 100 ticks or basically every five seconds. It's going to do a, an attempt to do this roar, which does a lot of knockback, as you can see. All right, that's basically it for the Ravager. Once again, it's a very simple, it's only one command block for the Ravager. And finally, for the Blaze, I'm actually going to unfreeze it so that way he can move around. And one of the things that the Blaze is going to do is, if I approach him, he is actually going to be knocked away. I don't have the command on. So if I try to approach the Blaze, he's basically going to be forced to run away. And now you might think, well, that's not that useful. But it is, because the Blaze is a ranged mob. The only way that you're able to damage him with a melee weapon is if you actually get up close. So if I go into adventure mode, I can't I can't attack him with my sword. It's very difficult. You basically have to get him trapped all the way into a corner. Oh, I'm going to die. But basically, in order to actually attack him with a sword, you have to get him backed up into a corner. But it can be... Kind of difficult to do that and it gives them a lot more of an opportunity to attack you and the nice thing about this command is it's basically kind of a retreating dash and it's only one command block so all we're doing here is executing at the blaze if there is a player within six blocks uh teleport the blaze backwards facing the player so that way it's always backing away and like i said i'm gonna just give myself some health real quick before i go back to i'm probably gonna edit this out anyways so you know, who cares? But just to kind of give you a demonstration on how this is actually really hard to deal with. I can't, I can't damage these guys. Like, they, they, they just can't get in range of them. Now, obviously, I can still shoot them and them with snowballs and whatnot. And I can still back them into a corner. But they're really difficult to deal with now. You can just see how difficult it is all the way back to the corner before I kill him. And just since they're blazes, I mean, they can go up in the air and just... I can't hit them. So yeah, so that's essentially it for the blaze. So once again, we have five unique abilities that you guys can 
mess around with, add to your own worlds, and make these mobs just a lot more interesting and a lot more fun to fight. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. But as always, I highly recommend you join our Discord because, because I said so. Goodbye.